to show you how to do this fabulous creeper painting that your kids will just totally love and that hopefully you will love too because I love Minecraft. There's links to more projects and more exciting stuff so more than just creepers. Learn all about it. Get your brushes, grab your paints and come back and meet me at this easel right now and we're going to do this. All right. To the studio if you're a first timer oh my gosh it is so good to have you it's a great day to show up because we're doing minecraft today if you're a returning artist i hope you're really excited about this project it's definitely one that's near and dear to my heart because i have a lot of kids that play minecraft and the best way to relate to your kids is to do something minecraft today we are joined by honey my little Minecrafter, and she's also my Minecraft expert, so she'll be keeping us up on Stampy Cat information and Cupquake information, because she's all about those YouTube channels and building and mods and Minecraft things. So, if you've got a young person, 5 to 15 in your life, and you're trying to connect and relate with them, this is the way to do it. You're going to be blowing their minds, and you're going to walk away knowing about Minecraft, and they're going to be like, Oh, wow, you totally got me. So it's going to be really awesome. Supplies that we're going to need today is a square gallery wrap canvas. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to lose my camera. That's a okay. crashing. Ignore, ignore crashing because it's totally pro studio. So see these? These are 10 by 10 square gallery wrap canvases. I got these at Michael's. They run coupons on them all the time. On Instructables. Because I'm now on Instructables. I'm a pro on Instructables. Is the step-by-step -step on how to get in your acrylic color ground and your grid as well as how to do a mushroom cow, stampy cat long nose, an Enderman and the all popular pig. So more projects there, just go there, get that information, everything you need. The first step, of course, is that you're gonna need paint and our colors today are cadmium yellow, medium hue, phthalo green, titanium white, and Mars black. When I created my acrylic color ground that you see here, I did it with a little bit of my cadmium yellow in my Mars green and I just painted the whole canvas, let it dry, and using a ruler in chalk, grid it in one by one squares. I did it on my daughter's and then I measured out a pattern, which we'll talk about a little further, that I marked black, 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 black to make the creeper face. But again, the real detailed drill down instructions for that with patterns and everything you need is on Instructables, which if you haven't been to Instructables, is an amazing, amazing website resource for makers. Yes. Yo, yes, Miss Honey, you love it? Now, another important tool that we have today is we are painting, and this is sort of critical. Can I see your brush, honey? With these, they're just under a half inch brights. Um, as you'll notice, like between brushes, like sometimes they'll have different numbers on them. And since the numbers are not uh, uniform or standardized from company to company, I just try to say it's a very square, sharp brush, about a half inch wide acrylic painting brush with a synthetic fiber. She's got hers. And then, of course, we also have, and I'm super excited about this, the delicious beverage. Do you have your beverage? Today's theme is the Tiki Tiki Cup. I won this Tiki Tiki Cup with a feat of skill. Not kidding. Did it at Joe's Crab Shack. And we found this Tiki Tiki Cup, I think, in our antique. Right? And you've got watermelon in there, don't you? Watermelon lemonade? The sour. It's a little sour, but you like but it. All right, let's it. put that down carefully. So we've got our delicious beverage. Tiki -tiki and tiki finally, tiki -tiki -tiki -tiki. and this is like, and if you need to log out, you're like, oh my God, no. There's gonna be Minecraft jokes. Do you see this? So this is 99 Kid Jokes, the Stampy Edition by John Jester. I got this on Amazon. If you don't know who Stampy Cat Long Nose is, moms and dads, you really should, grandmas and grandpas. He is awesome. He's got a great channel. 
him and Cupquake, we love them. The YouTube content out there is amazing. It's kid appropriate. It's projects. It's games. It's they watch their language. They're really all over it. I've, I've watched a lot of it with you to make sure it's okay. So you'll be getting Stampy Cat jokes like this, like, why did Stampy's cow cross the road? I have no idea. To get to the other side. Oh, under. Oh, and this is good for today. Why did the creeper eat a torch? I am not. He wanted a light lunch. Am I making you look cool to your kids? This book, Amazon. I'll include links for everything. And you probably love our aprons and our hats. I'll have links for those too from the people I buy from on Etsy. We got right, no let's get started. We got these two. Huh? Oh, yeah, I know. Aren't those super, super cool? What are you ready to get started? Called? Let's get started. All right. So I'm going to get my brush wet. And, and, and yes, I'm sure you all are watching my water glass to see if I put my brush in my water glass today. But I'm not. I'm not doing that. Stampy cat, long nose hats. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna get some black paint. I'm gonna pull out some just black paint. Okay. Now on my canvas, I'm painting a 20 by 20 that's been gridded out in one inch squares, and Honey's painting a 10 by 10 that's been gridded out in one inch squares. I get a smaller one. So uh, the first thing I want to do is I've marked my where I want to put my black paint, and I know down my center. Between the eyes, I'm going to have these two black here and these black. I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. How can I show this to you the easiest? What I'm going to show you is where I, I'm going to want to paint my black. So I, I'm going to have black here, 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 because you can't see my bees. You can start painting in your bees, honey. I'm just like, what am I going to do? If you've gone to the instructable sites, you've seen the pattern for this and how to adjust it for different size square canvases. And gosh, I really hope, I really, really hope you do the other Minecraft projects that are there. I love the mushroom cow. It's like my favorite. And the pig is so cute. And of course, the classic and important and impressive Enderman that, um... Whoopa and I'm a star. Hey, Stevie. Yeah, exactly. So you can kind of see the pattern that's here, right? The important thing on the Enderman is you need two blocks between the eyes, and the eyes, depending on the size of your grid, will either be four blocks or three by three. So it'll either be two by two or three by three. You're going to need two blocks underneath it and at least four, but because, again, I'm on the 20 by 20 canvas, I've made it a little bigger. Um, you're going to – I've done – one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two more for the downward. So depending on the size of your bricks, you may have to adjust these. I have both patterns on Instructables. That, by the way, is, is also free. Also free. And I'm sharing with you an incredible resource that you'll want to know about. So I'm going to paint in very carefully all of my... Black. This is, a, this is a good square. I'm not sure if this is a good square. Yeah, just, you know, be as neat and tidy as you can. But don't make yourself Coming unhappy. Down. This is a fun project. We like Minecraft. How much do you like Minecraft? I love it to the end of the world. To the end of the world. And there is no end of the world in Minecraft because you build the world. Yeah, there's no end of... Well, there is an end. Well, there is an end of the world because... There's... Because, like... You either, like, at the center of the world, you just die. And once you go, like, a certain distance from your spawn point, there's just a barrier where the end world ends. Really? Yeah, so it's not, like, forever. So you have a certain amount of space, but it's very gigantic. It's very hard to find the end of the world. It took me weeks until I found it. Weeks. Weeks to find the end of the world. It takes a while before you can get to it from I, I love all the creative stuff you can build in Minecraft, all the creativity you get to use. And all the mods and stuff. Yeah, I love the My Little Pony mod. That was so cute. And there's an art mod, which I'm totally going to get it. You are? What are you going to do in the art mod? You get to make pictures in Minecraft and put them up. You get to make pictures in Minecraft and put them up. Did you even know this game was that cool? So I don't know, like, tell me what you think of Minecraft. If you, if your kids are playing it, your grandkids are playing it, your nieces and nephews, or your little brush and you're doing this with us and you're playing it. 
Um, of course, we love Stampy Cat because we're wearing Stampy Cat hats. Stampy Cat. Stampy Cat. So tell me what you love about Stampy Cat, honey. It's totally child appropriate. Child appropriate. You see what we say around here a lot. Child appropriate YouTube content, isn't it? I don't. I don't think I've ever heard him um, say any cuss words. That's very good. Mom. That's very important to mommy. Very important. <laughs> and he's funny, isn't he? Yeah, he's very funny, and he, he does cool stuff. And he does like a he does his lovely world, and he has that roses um, dedic um dedication thing. Aren't we wearing these lovely? Are they lovely wobbly or yeah, lovely jubbly? Lovely, lovely, jubbly roses. Lo these are Stampy Cat Long Nose lovely, jubbly roses for the lovely, jubbly love garden. Who can't get behind that lovely, jubbly love garden, right? Yeah, and he does like little signs with um, dedications and stuff. And I would love it if he actually liked this video and actually put, put this in the, into his, um, uh, into his garden. Well, if you're a Stampy Cat Long Nose fan, I guess take the link over there and tell Stampy that we're giving him some love. Actually, that's how I got started on this, is you were watching Stampy Cat. Yeah. And you wanted to do something Minecraft and Stampy Cat oriented, right? So Stampy Cat Long knows we really love his channel. And honey, it was your idea. This is how we ended up coming up with the idea of doing this, because you were watching Stampy Cat all the time, and you really liked the love garden where people do like art things and things about him and he showcases that there and we talked about doing a minecraft episode in the yeah. car do you remember that yeah and that was like where we came up with this idea and that was a long time ago i don't know what took me so long to get this done it was like last christmas was it? it was i'm getting faster at the production so you can see that this sort of creeper head thing is not a uh, very serious or difficult Getting the black part in is not serious or difficult. What I would give tips on this is um, the only way it's going to be difficult if you didn't scan it out. If you didn't sketch it out, this would be very challenging. But again, I have like the best how to do the base color and grid on stretchables, and I, you know, I would never lead you astray. It's a great place to go. I would never ask you to go to an extra link without good, good, good reason. And then of course a lot of you are gonna be like, I think I can handle painting it green and putting in one inch, one inch squares with chalk, I can do it. So it just depends on where you're at. But I hope you'll do more Minecraft projects because they're done. so cool. I'm done, Neil. You're done already? Can you know what I would say, honey? Add another To make layer. it look, yeah, I would add another coat to give it a more finished look. Oh, I made a mistake. What? I wasn't paying attention. And I went past my... You can go over that. Or so, because my paint is really dry, I'm going to show you a neat thing about acrylic paint. Because the paint underneath it is really, really dry, I can erase. This would not be possible if I had just painted, painted it, but because it's overnight dry, I can just go back with water and erase it. I don't know if you guys knew that was possible. If you did, good job for you. If you did, good job for you. And if you didn't, well, now you know. So now I've been really into Cupquake, too. Haven't you been into Cupquake? Of course you guys know about Cupquake. Cupquake. has Cupquake is very awesome. And Red. Who's and Red? Cupquake, if you're watching this, you will beat Red in Husband versus Wife always. And we're giving two shout-outs, actually. For well, three. For Stampy Cat, I has Cupquake. And can you guess that I has Cupquake? Your husband, Red. Or also known as Mario. You know a lot about Cupquake. She has a lot of cool projects on her channel, doesn't she? Yeah, she does DIY. She does um, geeky goodies and stuff like. And she also does um, playing Flash Fridays, Minecraft. She has a lot on herself, and I don't know how she does all of it. I think like that's pretty impressive. I really have watched a bunch of it, and I think she's a tremendous young woman and a good example to young girls. I think that's what what happened was because Red was so, used to work at Machinima. He um, did. Yeah. He used to work at Machinima, so I think, like, that's when Cupboy didn't even have her hair dyed. She, there was a time before the colorful hair? Yes. Um, wow. There was a time before the colorful hair on Cupboy. Did you notice that you do? He's so cool. Anyways, um, I think that's the the reason why they're all, they're able to um, handle all of this, because Red has, uh, like, some kind of back thing or something. I don't know, has, um, what is it called again? Experience. His experience. 
Yes. Yes, he does, I imagine. It's like experience in Minecraft. Professional. It's like experience in Minecraft. So if you know Cupquake, you can tell her that Honey is a huge fan. Excellent. And I, I have to say I was very impressed with her recently. Um, and I, I put posted up on the Facebook page. Go by the Facebook page, it's where we put we vote on future lessons and things so always go by there so you can say uh i I will always kidnap you for minecraft tutorials and weird geekiness but i also put up regular stuff as you see you guys vote on it there um there's a wonderful artist that paints with us nyla and she found a how-to video on cupquake's channel about how to build a minecraft butcher block and she found the materials she purchased them with her own money she assembled it herself and she gave it to her mother for mother's day and it's the most incredible project and she's very close to Honey's age, and I was just really blown away. So I was really impressed by Cupquake for putting up a project that was that accessible to people and would resonate with kids so much. And then, of course, I was really impressed with Nyla for doing that entirely herself. So if you haven't checked out Cupquake's channel and you're trying to relate to your kids, it's like a great place to go and, and look. It's actually really fun. I think she's very fun. Cute kid. She's very lovely. Maybe we'll meet her at VidCon. Yeah. yeah, if I do go to VidCon. Well, this VidCon, not as much, but next VidCon for sure. Well, if you meet her at VidCon, you better. You know I'm going to get a selfie with her. We're going to send a shout-out to you. Can you rinse out your brush? We're going to start the green now. Are you I'm comfortable with I'm still trying that? to do my covering. All right, I'm going to show the green, but are you are you okay? Yeah, go ahead. I don't okay. Me. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our yellow over to our green. Okay, and I'm going to mix a fairly dark color. I'm, I'm tinting it with just a little bit of yellow, so it's more of that creeper color. Because creeper is sort of a grass green. And I'm going to pick random blocks around my creeper to paint this color. This is a lot like quilting. Quilters, you are like destined for Minecraft art. If you're good at quilting and you have some little person in your life, some little brush that you're trying to impress, let me tell you, here's the key. Isn't that true, honey? Yes. You guys love you some Minecraft. Except for some kids who really think Minecraft is lemon. I'm like, what the heck is wrong with you people? I don't know, everybody's but gonna like it's okay. Like, yeah. I just think that it's a kind of weird that, why don't you like Minecraft? It's like the best game ever. Oh, honey, it's like, all right. Kat Von D said, you can be the ripest, juiciest peach in the world, but then there's always somebody that doesn't like peaches. That's why. You can be the best thing in the world, but there's always someone that just doesn't like it. So you're going to notice here that I have painted around the edge. And this means that I can wire this and immediately hang it on my wall. You can kind of see how this is going in right here. It's a super easy project, but it's going to have big impact in your little brush's lives. Right? This is, you can do this regardless of your painting skill. Really, this is about your measuring one inch brick you scale. me up on this now. Okay, so just a little bit of yellow. Here, I probably need to rinse, 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 and use your paper towel. So, what am I going to do now? Okay. I'll show you. Right I can do it. I want to show you something on the brush, though. If you push all the way to the bottom and very, make sure you feel the pressure of the bottom of the cup, it will push your black paint out. Okay, and the other thing, can you take, let me get that a little bit wet, you want a little scotch of yellow over the green. Scotch. What is scotch? A small, teeny tiny amount. Like this? That's scotchy. Over the green. I love that you're mixing from the edge there. Honey and I are mixing from the outer edge of our paint plot. Not going like this so you can have green. Well, explain that to kids at home because I think that's sometimes when you're young and you want to just mix the entire glob of paint together, don't you? Talk about how you do that, honey. Yeah, because if you mix the entire glob of green, probably you won't have enough green for other colors and other shades. Plus, that's just wasting paint. Even though it's fun. Yes, it's very fun. For little, for like little, little brushes, like babies, they need to do that so they can understand it. But when you're becoming my age, that's a little bit babyish of you. Well, it's, it's where are we on our art journey? Wherever we are, right? Yes. You need, you need to start learning. You need to start So you try to do, on Honey's 10 by 10 creeper, I'm going to like say do 10 squares at least. It doesn't really make a change. That second color, it does more than you think. And well, because is it because we're going to be coloring the other blocks? We're going to do lighter and darker colors. So I guess that will make a change. Mm hmm Kind of does, but rarely. 
and got a little bit of black. It's very relaxing to do this, I gotta tell you guys. This looks like a blue kind of, doesn't it? Yeah, the phthalo green shade is a bluer green, which is why we added the yellow to it. I didn't want to have to paint, a lot of the people who paint with me already have phthalo green, and I just didn't want them to have to go out and buy a new color paint just to do this. You could just paint it with any grass paint. You could paint this one with craft paints. It's just fine. This one is not as specific on the quality of paint as some of the other lessons that we have on. This is just impress and have fun with members of your family. I really think that families should paint together. So I'm trying to create stuff where you guys can project together. Mom, there's a, so my, my creeper has a mole on his face. <laughs> well, you can't paint over the mole. Go away, you mole. Can't all be perfect. <laughs> okay, I think the mole is gone. Doesn't look very much like it. Go ahead and let more of the pure green paint get on your brush to get a darker color. See how my honey? Do you see how some of mine are darker? So maybe a little more of the phthalo green on there. Okay. Like this? Yeah. A little more. Just experiment. We'll see if you can get it just like two shades darker. Not as dark as say the black, but two shades darker. Like this? Yeah. Now one of the things that happens when we paint with kids is a lot of times they want to rush through a project. It's just their inclination. Like they feel like there's a time component to the painting process. Have it's, you like, seen that? it's like the star test. It makes you it makes your kid go crazy, like, I don't want to fail, I don't want to mess up, I don't want to oh. Yeah. And that's, that's the big thing is to take the pressure out of perfect. Perfect. So I think a lot of kids feel pressure. I know you're feeling pressure to be perfect today. A lot of kids feel pressure to be perfect, don't they? Because I'm not perfect. I don't know if they will be perfect. And if they're not perfect, I don't know what I'll do. Yeah. yeah. But it's hard in painting. Like, have you seen that in art class where kids really feel like they've got to do a perfect job? <laughs> I've it's seen like, that when I've taught it kids. It feels like a test a lot of the time. It can. Sometimes because of our educational system, creativity can feel like a test. And that's our big thing is to help, you know, people in our lives. And actually, I've seen that with adults. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little bit cold. Where adults feel like something is a test, that the creative process is a test, and it's just not. Tests that can, is it cat tests when your kids can sometimes mess you up when you're older. Well, yeah, I think we all just feel this pressure to just, you know, keep perfect, live up to things that just perfection, an ideal, an ideal self. So I have a few more squares to do like this than honey, because I have the larger block. And these get quite big. You could do a really, really big one of these if you wanted to create a statement piece. You could actually and do this on a wall. You can do this on a wall. There's no limit to this. And again, if you're talking about just relating to your kids and creating something that you guys can share. This is just a perfect way of doing that. I love having this day with you today. Having you back. I don't know. Huh? Did you do There's a whip in my canvas. Oh. Angels. Sometimes these economic canvases have issues. Well, you get the better canvas. <laughs> you got the same better canvas. Same kind. Oops. Because it's bigger? No, I mean, it doesn't have the mole and the rip and the... <laughs> So yeah. Um. Ooh. All right. Now I want you to get a little bit of white, honey, tiki tiki, and mix it over into your green and make a lighter color. Sorry, I was drinking my tiki tiki cup. So what did you want me to do? Take a little bit of white over to your green mixture and make a lighter color. <coughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Our military creeper day. No, I'm just trying to be very polite. Oh, this is pretty. It's like a seaweed. Look. Yeah. And this is kind of nice to work on tones and values, huh? Okay, so just start doing that. Yes. Yeah, this does not really look like a crib worker, and I'm going to make it darker. It well, look at the fabric. 
You have a total cheat here on your fabric on the squares. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. But there's white, and there's soft green, and there's several shades of green in your creeper fabric, isn't there? Yeah. But that, I feel like it's just not even close. I need to get a little bit darker because I think I went too light. One thing you'll notice because you painted the canvas green first, then you don't have to be so absolutely perfect. Oh, that's what I needed. I needed yellow. I did. I needed more yellow. So it's just good to know what you need, right? You just test it out and do it, and then you see what you need. Okay, this is what I needed. Okay. So now it looks better. See, now look at this. Knows. Look at this. It looks better. Feel better about it? Yes. Excellent. Okay, now it's a little bit. And really, this is going to be just about going around, painting different squares, right? Just paint the squares. Look for holes. This is a good exercise in training your eye to look for holes, because that's a bigger skill we have to do as artists. See how that's looking? Now I'm going to show you. I'm just using the shape of my brush to control... how well it paints the square. I feel like it's sad that creepers are, are I think it's very bad that creepers look sad. So how is a creeper made? Like, how does it happen in Minecraft, that creeper? What kind of monster is that? How does it happen? Oh, like, what is it? Mine? Yeah. Of? Well, it's a creeper technically made out of flesh and it's just shaped like that. And the inside of it has TNT and when it gets close to something, you will hear it and it explodes. And there's a lot of songs that spoof like popular songs on the radio, but have Minecraft words. It's like Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball has a completely funny I twist. Like a creepers came on from everything I in my game. From the kitchen to the outer frame. The kitchen to the outer frame. <laughs> okay. I might be singing it wrong, but who cares? Who cares? Not important. Doesn't matter. I can end with You paint, girl. You keep painting now. It's TV. You keep painting. I'm not singing more painting. I'm a style. See, it's a genetic thing. See, you do. It's not going. Okay, I gotta, but I've gotta be able to talk to them, honey. Okay. Thank you. All right, so now I'm going to get some very some more yellow and mix a very kind of yellow green and put some of those colors in. So this is much more of a yellow grass green. And put those squares around. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm just looking for places to put different shades of green. Today's 50 shades of green. I don't know when that joke is going to end for me. Not for a while. Not for a while. <laughs> Mom. Yeah. How about you give another <clears throat> creeper a joke, baby? Like another joke. Ah, okay. I think it's a good time for a joke, yeah? Because we haven't had a joke in a while. So We that... haven't had a joke in a while. So let's get a joke. Let's get a joke. Stampy's pet wolf Minton ate all my shuttlecocks. <laughs> Bad Minton. What? Stampy's pet, I don't get that one. Stampy's pet wolf Minton ate all my shuttlecocks. Bad Minton. Minton. Seems like you're saying bad mitten. Oh! Like bad mitten again. I get it. Okay, go again. <clears throat> what are the smallest rooms in Stampy's house? Um. <laughs> Mushrooms! Oh! Why don't guardians eat penguins? I have no idea. Actually. They can't get the wrappers off. What does that mean? Like, <laughs> I don't get it. Where does Tampy take Minecraft pigs on Saturday afternoons? I have no idea, actually. To the picnic. <laughs> so I Nine to nine of these that you could have. Trust me, it just does. After this episode, I'm stealing this What's, book. You can absolutely have this after. What seven letters did Stampy say when he opened the chest and found it empty? What? O-I-C-U-R-M-T. O-I-C-U-R-M-T. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. How do you spot a modern cave spider as opposed to, say, an ancient one? How do you spot a modern cave spider? 
don't know. He doesn't have a web, he has a website. <clears throat> Paint! <laughs> what color should do we do next? Add more yellow to your green. Let's like make a bright yellow or green. Not quite that yellow, but brighter. Like say this? Yes. This looks like a creeper. Does that start to look more creepery? It's gonna creep up on you. And then blow up on you. To kill up on you, it's gonna kill you. Good, good, good. It's gonna kill you. Good, good. Well, that's just terrifying. <laughs> well, that's not even terrifying because the Enderman, it's like a Slenderman. Uh huh. That's actually what's in the song of Enderman. It's actually like Slenderman because it can teleport. If you look into its eyes, it will. Its head will turn into a giant skull and open its mouth. It's kind of scary. It is? Keep yeah. Painting. A little bit, get finished. A little bit scary and um, uh, I even get scared of it, but Enderman comes after me because I don't want to die. Well, isn't it good that it's just in a video game? Yes. Because if it was in real life, would we would be upsetting. dead by now. So you see, I'm just going around and filling areas. You'd all be dead if Enderman Looking a bit there. like my fabric here. So easy. <laughs> So what are you doing? I think that's a little too yellow, honey. I know. Take off that yellow. I'm looking for places for these different colors. Is this good? Is this good, Mom? Well, it's all good. I like what you're doing. And I like how you're changing up the green and the squares. How's this? How do you feel it is? I know. I want to know you. Know you can. I know what I think. I feel very good. I feel very good about what you're doing. I really appreciate you coming and painting with me today. It's because I was bored, so I decided I'd do some Minecraft painting. <laughs> that is a nice way to spend the day, isn't it? Yes. You know, here's what was shocking, because your brother is not that into painting. He's actually interested in doing this project with me. And you, and, and you know, he's just, he, I mean, he paints with us, but it's not as, he's not as driven. You're first going to have to learn how to hold the brush. Well, that's what everybody has to learn, honey. He's younger than you are. Luna knows how to hold the brush, though. It's true. Luna does know how to hold the brush. <laughs> She's way younger than him. She is. It's kind of cute and funny. I'm like, I'm not making fun of Spider, but Here. still, that's a smart baby. Yeah, that's a smart baby. She is a smart baby. Luna. The spider is very smart and he's very confident. He's very normal for when his age. When you really go around him, he, he's actually more creative than you think. He's very creative. What am I do about all these lines? What am I going to do about all these lines? Well, I'm painting mine out as I go. So I've gone and gotten a different color. And I'm again, I'm looking for holes, guys. I'm looking for places that I can fill. Right. Now I'm going to make a very light one because I noticed here I've got some very light colors on my fabric. I don't mind if I have chalk on it though. I can just wipe it off. Yeah, you can. I'm going to wipe off. I'm going to, once this is all dry, I'm going to wipe off all the chalk. So I'm going to put just a couple of these very light green. There's st I still need it to be green. So I've got to really, it, it will, it's got to still be green, but it's going to be very light. Now one thing I can do if I'm having trouble getting to an area, since I've got my black face in, is I can tip it and move it. And sometimes that will help me see areas that I have it a different angle. Another really good trick is hold the painting upside down if you want to see it better. Sometimes if you see it from a different direction or perspective, it'll help you see where things need to be done. Way ahead Take of a you. picture on your cell phone. And then look at it. Way ahead of you. Why? Look. Oh, yeah, you were there, right there with me, doing that too. How's it helping? Kind of. Kind of? You know, if you look <laughs> at this from this perspective, don't you see kind of like a cow with... Cow, don't you see like a cow face right here? See like horns and... A, <laughs> don't you see that? No, I do, man. I do. That's actually very insightful. And these are like the two legs or something. <laughs> Yeah, it's very insightful. I don't know how that happened, but I just saw it. So I'm just looking for places to put this color. 
that could use it because I'm just trying to create a multi-tonal effect here. Oh, want to know something cool, people? I, I'm sure they do. Um, if you actually, um, t I'm like, what is it called? A sheep? A sheep? A sheep? And, yeah, a sheep in Minecraft. And then get a name tag and, um, name it underscore Jeb. It will turn into a rainbow sheep. Oh, it will, I, it will I, change colors. But I, I want a rainbow sheep. I'll show it to you, Mom, when we sometime. All right, let's look at that. Let's show that to you guys. How's that looking? Is he looking multi-tonal? How's your multi-tonalness coming? I think I'm done. You feel done? Mm -hmm. I think that you've got a bunch of unpainted squares. But I like those. I like the color that's on the back, though. Okay. All right. But I might change it's it up. It's all good. I think I might add a little bit more green over <clears throat> here on this line, though. So I'm going to look for some squares that I've missed painting. I'm going to get a darker green and then paint in the last couple things I feel like I want it to be darker. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. I think we're nearly done with our creepers. I think I'm almost done. Like, I only need to put a couple more squares in and then I'm done. I think these look very creepery. I want to creep up on you and blow you up while you're sleeping, you. Yeah, we're not doing that, though. <laughs> <clears throat> so are you going to do the other uh, Minecraft projects that I'm posting? Do you think you and you're going to want to do those? Oh, sleeping and creeping? Mm -hmm. Um. On the first night that um, Stampy Cat played Minecraft. The first night that Stampy Cat played Minecraft. Like, not the first night. The first night in first Minecraft when he fell asleep. Keep hanging. He got woken up by a skeleton and a, and a giant spike. So in case you're not familiar with this and you're just like, I've watched this whole video, I don't know what I'm doing. I just really like your shirt, but you've lost your mind. What happens on YouTube is there's these things called Play With Me channels, and some really funny, insightful people will play a video game and record the gaming session, and kids love to watch this. Love it. Especially Minecraft. Especially Minecraft. And so this is what this is all about. So this is what's happening, and, and that's why I'm recommending Stampy Cat to you, because sometimes it's so hard to know what's on YouTube. And his is such a good good channel. Not like Pootie Pie, which I cannot recommend. Pootie Pie is okay for grown-ups. For grown-ups. But not for kids. It's like Threadbanger. Perfectly okay for grown-ups. A really kid show. But an awesome grown-up show. It's funny. It's very, funny. very funny. Right. Very funny. But not appropriate for kids. Like probably a teenager could watch your... You know, I think we'll go by family by family, but what I will say is that I've been really happy with Stampy Cat, and I've been really happy with Cupquake, and I think they're great channels. And here's our last, while you're finishing up, we're gonna find another joke. Can I do a joke? What is Stampy Rabbit? Yeah, when you're all done painting, you'll Okay, do after you tell me that one. Okay. What is Stampy Rabbit's favorite music? Stampy Rabbit? Stampy Rabbit's favorite music. I have no idea. Hip hop. I should have guessed that. <laughs> My turn. I'm all done. Wait, wait, I gotta do this last one. Okay. All right, just because you're gonna like this one. You ready? You like it. You like it. And you really like it. What is the zombie's least favorite room in Stampy's house? <laughs> the living room. <laughs> <laughs> all right, pick a page, tell a joke. <clears throat> Actually, these two jokes in the. We all learned what this looks like. Why did Stampy. Cookie, go to the doctor. Why did Stampy Cookie go to the doctor? He was feeling crummy. <laughs> I'm loving this book. What do you call a snow golem in the desert? I, I don't. I don't. Lost. Lost. Okay. Lost because it's a snow golem in the desert. <laughs> okay, alright, this is funny. What did the torch say to the other torch? What did the torch say to the other torch? I'm going out tonight. <laughs> right. So listen, here's the deal on this book. I just bought this. I actually got this to to have some relationship with her, to joke around and everything. And we did it on this episode. This is, I, I didn't get paid to talk about it or anything. This is just what I have. I have this. You should get this. If you have kids that are into Minecraft though, I, you know, really, really appropriate. I love it. And I like these, uh, I'm done with Lama. really funny Minecraft related jokes. I think it's a really good thing. And she's done. All right, let me see. Let's get mine. 
Yes. I'm gonna blow you up before you can finish. Yes. Alright. Blow you up first, I win. Okay, so here they are. Hold it up. I'm the baby creeper and you're the mommy creeper. We have a baby and the mommy creeper. So listen, go to Instructables, do the rest of the projects, hang these on the wall. You're gonna love it, love it, love it. Wait. What about spider has a creeper so who's, who's gonna get that one? We'll let him pick it. So what I want you to do is I want you to go buy Instructables, go by the Facebook page, like, comment, click subscribe, give him the, the, the baby face. What? No, the baby face when you're like, please subscribe. See, look at that. How can when you, we subscribe? How can you not not subscribe? It's like, literally, how could you not? So those two things, tell me what you think about Instructables because I really, really like them. I have for years and years. Um, tell me what you think of the Creeper Project. If you don't like, if you don't like it, my whole heart will be broken. Yes, don't disappoint her. And also, listen, share your creepers, your mushroom cows, your stampy cats, your endermen, which is going to be the easiest one you ever painted, and your adorable Minecraft pigs with me on the Facebook page. We want to see it. All right, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see <laughs> you at this easel with another great project really soon. Minecraft up. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love ya. Here's your...